Hello everyone, welcome back to Design and UX channel. I am Priya. Today in this video, we are going to learn about basics and introduction of user research. In this video, we will cover the topics on what is user research, why it is important, why it is valuable, why it is convincing hard to stakeholder to do user research. We will learn with an example of online clothing order app, list of user research methods. Let's jump into the video. User research is all about detailed study of users or a target audience. What do they want? What are their needs? And what are their struggles? To work on any design project, we need to follow the design process, whether it is user-centered design process or design thinking process or any other UX design process. User research is the initial step to work on any design process. Why it is important? When we are working on any design project, User research helps us to identify the early stage of user problems with the products as well as provides an essential foundation for the design strategy and it helps us to build and design the optimal product for our users. Why it is valuable? It helps us to speed up the learning process and it saves the time and money on each and every project. However, it is very challenging to convince stakeholders on performing user research. Let's see what happens when we work with the project development team. When we are working on any project, we are not the alone that we are working from start to end of the project. In the project development team, there are so many other different team members are involved in working with the project from start to finish. Project manager who is responsible for complete the project management, like what are the timelines that they have to accomplish and who are the team members and what is their work progress. So these all things are responsible for project manager. The second thing is project owner. So who is responsible for the complete business and the project. Third one is marketing. So the people who are responsible for sales of a product and marketing and com campaigns. Data engineers, they build the system for collecting, validating and preparing that high quality data. Web developers, they are building and maintaining the main websites. Test engineers, thoroughly check the materials, procedures and a mechanical or electronic system to ensure that customers to get high quality functional products. UX designers can create a great user experiences for the products. Legal team who are responsible for documenting the legal documentation and legal procedures with the products. This is how each and every team member are working on to design and build the meaningful product for the users. When the project development team is working on any project, they also collect the data regarding the research and discuss with the team to make a progress on the project. For example, in online clothing ordering app, the team members do the research on the technologies, goals, needs and the business. Along with that, they also do the research on the existing market to create a report on so many users or the number of users uh, use this app in such a way there is already so much research data with the team so when it comes to the point of user research the stakeholders may not agree with to do the user research on the product because they think they already have uh, so much research data with the team but as a user researchers we know the importance of doing user research However, the product development team have so much data related to the research, but the actual product is used by the user. So we have to know when user interact with the product, what is their experience using the product. Then we can identify what is the user's problems and user's struggles and what are the user's needs when using the product. In this example, user is going to use the online clothing ordering app to order the clothes. So when user uses this app, we have to know or we have to identify how the user feels about the app when they are using it. Is user is able to complete successfully their task or is there are any struggles while they are placing the order or is there are any troubles to find the proper clothes for them? These are a few questions that we can identify the user problems. 
by identifying the user problems with the app we can try to improve the app as per the user feedback and we can create a user friendly product for the users in such a way user research helps to improve the product that's why we have to convince our stakeholders to do user research on the product here are few research methods to perform a user research in my upcoming videos we are going to learn more about the user research methods that's it for the today's video i hope you learn introduction and basics of user research from this video if you found this video helpful for you to please do like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any thoughts and suggestions on the user research topics please do provide in the comment section i will try to create a video on that topic thank you so much for watching see you in next video bye bye